How much time do you spend inside? How much time do I spend inside? On average, statistics say most Americans spend 90% of their time inside. Whether it's your house, office, workplace, car, stores, and we can't forget about the kids who spend one third of their day sitting in the classroom. This video isn't to educate the importance of indoor air quality, or maybe it is, but it's mainly about the Air Gradient 1, an indoor air quality monitor. The Air Gradient 1 measures PM 2.5, CO2, TVOCs, NOx, and temperature, and humidity. It's fully open source and customizable. This is the pre-assembled version, and it's basically plug and play. On the front, you have a small display where you can see the data in real time. There are also LEDs that run across the top that help you see levels at a glance, which can be set to represent CO2 or PM 2.5. These LEDs can be turned off if you plan to use it in a bedroom at night. The monitor can be mounted to a wall, or you can use the included feet to set it on some kind of surface. It's powered with the included USB cord. On the back, you'll see two QR codes, which you'll scan to get started with the camera app on your phone. Once it's set up, your data will display on the web dashboard. The monitor is connected to your Wi-Fi and allows you to view the data even when you're not at home or near the Wi-Fi. The Air Gradient 1 can also support other systems like Home Assistant and Homey. When we first moved into our house, the only heat source was an electric heater, and there was no way that was going to heat the entire house. So we had a furnace installed. And after two weeks, I woke up to water dripping from a light socket, and I realized the people who hooked up my furnace had it venting into my attic. You could say this is what triggered me to be more curious about the air quality and what I'm breathing. So I'm up here in my bedroom where I spent about eight to 10 hours. I thought it'd be cool to do an experiment anyway. I got two air, air purifiers behind me. I got the Medify Air and the Winx. We're gonna light an incense and I'm gonna let the incense go for just 10 seconds. I'm gonna put it out. We're gonna see how long it takes each of these to clear it out of the room. And we're gonna be watching the monitor right there. So right now it's at a PM 2.5. Well, anyway, I got a camera rolling there so you can watch this in real time and see how this works and also see how these things work, if they're doing anything. So let's just light this guy up and I'll probably count to 10 or something. One, 10. So that's all we're gonna do. We're still at PM 2.5 is one and now you can see that it's starting to climb. We're at a six, nine, 12. VOC is at a 104. To 23 on PM 2.5, 26, 32. I want to see kind of where it, it will top out at, so I'll speed up this part. Okay, so it looks like it topped out at about 46. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll hit start, and we're gonna start with the Winix. We'll turn it on high. All right, well, we're down to five and just about seven, 17 minutes and 20 seconds or so. We're gonna hit stop. Let's go ahead and reset it. Light it up, count to 10, one, 10. All right, so we're about 36. We'll hit start, turn on this one, all the way to the highest setting. And we'll see. All right, well, it's been 16 minutes, 20 seconds. I just came up here, it's at zero, so. So there'd be no point in doing these tests unless we lit this incense and let it run without an air purifier. So I'm gonna light it up, count to 10, one, 10. Put it out, it's showing a three right now. And just like the other two, once it peaks out and starts to go down, we'll start the timer. All right, looks like we peaked out around 36. It dropped down to 35. We'll go ahead and start the timer. We'll let it run for at least 15 minutes. All right, so we're right at 15 minutes and we're still at 25. 
just for fun, let's keep rolling this and see. Let's add another 15 minutes, see what we'll go down to. Oh, wow. We're at 36 minutes. We're at 38 with no air, air purifier running. <laughs> All right, well, let's just continue on with this. Let's turn an air purifier on. We're at 36 minutes and see how long it takes to go down. One issue the Air Gradient 1 revealed to me is that the air quality upstairs at our house is horrible. This is because there is no air returns upstairs. The only returns we have are downstairs and located near the kitchen. So when we cook, all the pollutants are getting sucked through into the furnace and be blown upstairs into our rooms and they're just staying there. To remedy this, we're using two air purifiers up there, running them 24-7, at least in the winter months when we can't open the windows. We also plan to get an exhaust fan installed sometime soon. All right guys, so here we are on the home dashboard. I, I'm, I opened this on the computer. You can do it on your phone too, but it'd just be easier for me to show you on here. So here you can see we have an option for outdoor data available. This is if you have an outdoor monitor, which I don't have, but I'd love to have it and see what the air quality is when all the farmers spray around my house. Over here on the right, you can see we have PM 2.5. And if we click on that, you can see we have green average of three. And like I said, let's go ahead and click on this. And it will show me over the last 48 hours. Up here, I can go and I can click last eight hours. Show me the last eight hours. And I can go all the way up to last 90 days, last 180 days, last 360 days. But I haven't had it that long. Now, if you're unsure about PM 2.5 like I was, or the term of it at first, they have an about on every section where it displays the information. So if we go to about, you can see right here, it's particulate matter, which is PM abbreviated to. So it's small particles in the air, especially below 2.5 micrometers, are dangerous and can cause all kinds of serious long-term health consequences. In heavy polluted countries, People can lose up to 10 years of their life expectancy due to pollution. And here we can see a human hair right here. And then around here we have PM10. Those are the blue little particles. And then on the PM10 we have the little PM2.5, which are combustion particles, organic compounds, metals, etc. So I'll exit out of here. Now we'll go into CO2 and click on this. Again, we can see the information for whatever range I'd like and we can also read about CO2 and here we can see carbon dioxide is a gas of course in our atmosphere and the outside concentration is around 430 ppm when we breathe we exhale CO2 and thus concentration can increase in occupied rooms quite quickly it can cause headaches and also impact our brain's performance so if we scroll down here to the bottom, we can see the PM 2.5, the CO2, we can see the temperature, and we can also click on the temperature right here, and we can able to see the temperature over the last eight hours. We can see humidity, relative humidity right here. Like I said, we can, let's go here to the last week. Oh, look at this spike right here. Okay, and we have TVOCs right here. What about these? What are VOCs? They're volatile organic compounds. And there are more than 10,000 VOCs in the air, some extremely harmful, some harmless. Both trigger the VOCs value. So it is very important to know the specific VOC to make any judgment. If you observe spikes over the day and you can identify the source, you can try and reduce these chemicals. And here we have NOx. Let's read about that. Nitrogen oxides is the sum of the nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide. These two pollutants have similar properties and are involved in many of the same chemical processes in the atmosphere. Exposure to this is associated with cardiovascular disease, asthma, diabetes, man, hypertension, stroke, all these horrible things coming from our air. So if you're interested to learn more about the type of sensors that the Air Gradient One uses, I'll put a link in the description. You can also get one for yourself. But I'm just really grateful to be able to see and understand more about how the air quality in my house is since I'm spending 
quite a bit of time in here right now until it gets summertime. Then I plan to spend 90% of my time outside, hopefully. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching.